How to add a new item to an existing banner carousel. Click on Add New Record. Enter the required field information such as title, content, and label. Title will be what is displayed in an H1 Heading 1 setting. Content is what appears below, such as plus CFLs last up to 10 times longer. Link type. Use page, a page on your site, if clicking on the CTA is to take the visitor to another page on your site. You will need to select a web page from your site in which to direct the CTA button. Use file, a file on your site, if you're going to have the CTA button open a PDF or other such file. You'll need to locate the file, such as root file, where the file is stored in the CMS, and then select the file name. If the file does not already exist on your system, select Upload New File. Choose the file, and you'll need to select the file location in which you'd like the CMS to store the file. Then you will upload the selected file. Use URL, a link to an external resource, if you'd like the CTA button to direct to an outside web page, such as, such as IllinoisPowerSwitch.com. Be sure when you paste the URL, it does not have HTTP colon backslash backslash entered twice, or you will receive an error. Label. This will be the copy in your CTA button. Generally, learn more. Image. To upload a new image for the carousel item, Select File, a file on your site, and then you'll need to choose the file location where the image file is stored and the file name. To upload a new file, use Upload New File and select your image. You'll choose the file from your image folder and upload the selected file. Simply select the file location where that image file is stored and then choose the appropriate file name. The image dimensions should be 633 pixels by 300 pixels. Enter image alt text. This is used by screen reader programs for the visually impaired. Your entry should tell what the content in the banner image pertains to. OnClick is for the JavaScript that tracks the banner item's activity in Google Analytics. Sort order. This field is used to set where you'd like an item to appear in the banner rotation. Keep in mind that statistically, 70% of the clicks will come from the first position, with each subsequent position receiving a rapidly decreasing number of clicks. Use the start date and end date fields if you want the banner image to be displayed during a specific date range. When you're finished, click on Update. The link area is what controls where your CTA box directs the user. The image area is where you control the image in the banner itself. To edit an existing banner item, click on the Edit Control in the top left corner of the rotating banner. You will then have access to all of the banner controls and the field settings. Here you can update the image, the link, and even the alt text, and the sort order. You may also delete the banner from the carousel rotation from this setting. Your Act on Energy Digital Style Guide includes related how-to videos on CTA buttons and more information on how to structure your Act on Energy pages. Videos can also be found on your Ameren internal YouTube channel.